Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another what's in my stash video to share with you guys. And today we are going to be doing a school themed um, what's in my stash and graduation. So I have two bins for you guys here today that we will go through. I will try to link as much as I can in the description box down below because I know so many of you guys have said that you guys really like these videos because um, it allows you to see like what kind of collections are out there. And while I don't have everything, um, I have some that I can show you guys. And if you guys like it, you guys can get it too. All right, so let's get started and I'll show you guys what's in my stash today. So starting off with this bin that is the full bin which is the school themed bin the other one is graduation and it's like half filled um but i have this collection called i love school by echo park i believe i used this collection before i have made some school themed things so i will link that down below as well so you guys could see i don't remember if it's this collection um but i have made some school themed things and i like that there's some pink in here not a lot but there's like a little bit of pink um and i just really like it <laughs> i have some ephemera this is the school rules frames and tags and this is what it looks like i always like to have these extra ephemera pieces i have another one this one is the actual ephemera this one was the frames and tags so I have this one here you guys could see how they compare and you can see at the bottom one is ephemera one is frames and tags so slightly different and then I just have um, the I love school which is that first collection I just showed you guys those frames and tags that go with that collection all right so next up I have this 12 by 12 paper pad I did get this from Tuesday morning some time back and I have used some of this. They also do have um, a collection kit out of this because I remember using, I think, a collection kit from this. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. But I have a bunch of scraps in here as well, so I could definitely could make something with this uh, paper pad here. Oh, this is a this is a lot of stuff in here. So this is the simple stories. We are going to take this out because I don't even see a cover in here. All right, I guess we're going to show you guys what's all in here. So normally I don't do this with my what's in my stash videos, but I didn't see a cover. So this is the school life collection by simple stories. Here's the bits and pieces. And then here are the puppy stickers. And then let's go through the actual paper and maybe we'll find a cover for this. <laughs> so you have this paper and a bunch of three by four size cut aparts. Got this one. I don't know, should I make some three by four size notebooks out of this? Do you think anybody would want some school themed three by four size notebooks. Maybe not necessarily this collection, but in general, what do you guys think? Or should I just make school albums? Okay, got this one. This one has four by six cut aparts on this side. Stars. A mix of cut aparts of four by fours and you could use this as a four by four if you want or two by twos that's a really cool idea pencils and the back the letters of the alphabet then you've got tags so this is the back side of the tags where you can write on it and then the obviously the tag phrases and then you've got this one looks like a cork board and here's the back of that, some journal space. Got this one, and books on the back. I think we had this sheet already, right? The paper clips, and then this was the back. You got this composition notebook. That would be a really cool three by four uh, school themed notebook because it's composition notebook. And then the sticker sheet. So 
Yeah, I don't know why I don't have a cover for this. Maybe it was like, I don't know, maybe they were having a sale on it or something. So that, that's interesting, but I do have that collection in my stash. All right, next up, um, I have this basketball paper pad in here. Now, I don't have a sports bin, which if I did, this would probably go in there. But I don't have a sports bin because I really don't have um, any sports paper with the exception of this. Maybe in football, I guess. I have one of each. But I, when I think of sports, I think of like high school kids playing sports or on some team. I mean, not, it doesn't even have to be high school. It could be middle school or whatever. Um, but I think of kids on sports teams, you know, and playing in school. Um, you can, however, also use this for like a birthday. Maybe, you know, somebody that loves to play basketball and you want to make them a birthday album, basketball themed. Um, I mean, you could do that also. And yeah, but I have it in here. But let me know, should I make a sports bin with just, I don't know, what is this, two paper pads? <laughs> I feel like that's just a, such a waste of like, a bin space though but I don't know so here's the basketball one by Echo Park I thought it was just always good to have in my stash in case anybody needs like a custom themed something and I don't do a lot of custom themed albums um not in the sense that like in order for me to do a custom themed album it's got to be like an album I have already made before um and then you just tell me a paper collection but then I still make it however I want <laughs> Um, so here's the I Love School frames and tags. Looks like this. And I think we sh I showed you guys that, right? Well, this is also the I Love School puppy sticker. So this goes with that very first collection I was sharing with you guys. So I feel like I'm going to put that with that. Okay, I have Back to School. This is a mega pad. So it's got 48 sheets. And I guess that was from Tuesday morning at some point also. And this is Echo Park. Yeah, so this is um, the 12 by 12 paper pad I was sharing with you guys. And here's their mega pad. I need to organize these school themed papers better. Because clearly I have collections all over the place. Here is the football one. There we go. Um, here's the I Love School Mega Pad. So that first collection I had, but I'm not going to share. I kind of already showed you guys. Maybe a little bit. Can't really tell much, but I don't feel like opening it. <laughs> Here, uh, you know what? I'm going to open it. I will open it for you guys, okay? All right, just so you guys could see, because I didn't open up the collection kit. So this way you guys will be able to see all the papers and this is another mega pad so it's got lots of sheets and if you guys you know are keeping an eye on something also check out the echo park warehouse sales because they sometimes have these which is probably where i got half of mine all right so that's the i love school then i also have the first day of school um, by Echo Park. I don't know, should I make some card folios with some of these 6x6 six six paper pads too? Let me know, what would you guys make with all this school paper? Um, school Days Ephemera, this is by Cardabella. I have a 6x6 six six also, and this is more like a vintage kind of themed collection, which you guys will see in a second. So here is the School Days 6x6 paper pad. It's got the ivory background for all of this. It's just very vintage-y. You got a character in there. 
I mean, it's not super vintagey, but it is on the vintagey side. There we go. Or maybe it's just like the suburban side. Because <laughs> I work in the city and schools don't look like that. <laughs> um, Cardabella Ephemera for the School Days collection. So I just showed you guys the Ephemera. Um, but I also have the frames and tags. Like that. And I remember getting these in bits and pieces. I remember having just the like ephemera first from one of the Echo Park sales. And then at some point later on, they had the school days six by six paper pad. So I do get things in pieces. Like it's not like they always have everything where I could get everything at once. But if you like something, get what they have. And then the next one, sometimes they have another one or sometimes you have to wait a little bit. But that's how I've been like building up my stash for the past, I don't know, how long have I been um, building this up for? Like five years? I think five years ago is when I started Happy Mail. Um, and then I didn't start making albums maybe like three years ago. Was Has it even been three years? Maybe. I don't know. Um, but anyway, this is the back to school. Um, I have used this collection before. And I think I had this. Oh, I showed you guys the 6x6. So, yeah. I showed you guys that one. Um, here is the school rules. Um, you guys saw, I think, a 6x6 on this also. Did you? Or maybe I just had another one of these collections. I, I can't keep up. Or maybe it was just the ephemera that I had. I have to really seriously organize this. <laughs> oh, look. I have another one. So we got two of those. Oh, they, these ones are from Tuesday morning, both of them. Um, okay, back to school again. I just showed you guys that one. I love school again, and I have another two more of those. Then here I have a paper pad. This is from Die Cuts with a View from Joanne, and I have used a bunch of this before. Um, so there, I have some sheets in here, but it's obviously not full. This is all scraps and this is not even from this collection, but I was using it with this collection as I was making this. Same thing with the sticker sheets, like some scraps I had left over, I used with here. Um, this is from the collection though. I like the pinks in here. There's some scrappies and here's like the paper. I do love this collection and this one, I love, love, love all the pinks in here. So you could definitely make one for a daughter or your niece or whatever. But yeah, I love the pinks. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. So yes, I love that collection. So that's School Time by Die Cuts with a View. Um, then I have the school, is this, no, I don't know what this is. Um, Scholastic. This is called Scholastic by Authentique, and it looks like I got this at Tuesday morning as well. So here's this. I like that there, there's like florals in here, some like quilted pattern paper. Oh, you get three of each sheet in here. I wonder if I separate this album into like one. Oh, I used one of these already. Um, I made some uh, teacher little like teacher books. Uh, let me show you guys. So with that one sheet, I made some of these and this is available in my Etsy shop, but they're cute little like sticky note holders. So they have a Velcro closure here and they open like this and you have like your sticky notes here and just a little pen. So perfect little uh, teacher gift. And that is available in my Etsy shop, but that's what I use that one sheet for. Okay, moving on, I have this paper pad. This one is from Jolie's Boutique. Okay, you know what? I didn't even know that they sell paper. I mean, I guess I did at some point, but I totally did not remember um, that they sold paper and I didn't even know I had this in my stash. So this paper is fairly thin. Um, you'd wanna use thicker cardstock with this if you're gonna be making an album. Normally I do 65 pound weight and then I double mat with the regular like paper that's much thicker than this, but this one is on the thinner side. That's cool, that foiling. 
So this one's on the thinner side, so I'd probably use 110 pound cardstock for whatever album I'm making with this. And it looks like I used some sheets, but I'm not sure for what. So and that is the school themed bin. I'm gonna go ahead and organize this so that I have all my collections kind of in order. I'm gonna put this one on top though because I wanna use that one up. Um, and I'll be right back with the graduation. All right, and here is the graduation themed bin. I organized the other one. And I apologize if you guys could hear noise outside. It's because Babe is washing our cars outside. Today's a nice day, so she's outside doing that. And my craft room happens to be facing um, the driveway or the front. So, well, I guess this part of my craft room does, but this is where my filming area is. So anyway, I have in this graduation bin starting off, I have a coordinating solids paper pack for the graduation themed paper collection by Echo Park, which is right here. So it looks like I have a six by six. I'm going to open this and show you guys a six by six one. Um, so I have a six by six there's some ephemera in here and I have the 12 by 12 collection kit. Um, okay, so hold on, let me get these those stickies back. Okay, so here's the graduation. Okay, and there is some solids in here as well. Um, some like gray, black, and whatever. It's on the back of like cut apart sheets, but obviously I'm gonna be using the cut aparts, so. Um, but that's an option with the six by six paper pad. And then I have this one. This one is from, this looks like a recollections paper pad. And it's got a missing cover. Um, Anyway, so here, this one looks like this. And it says, I, I don't like when they include years because obviously I can't use that anymore. We're not in 2021 anymore. So that one sheet I cannot use. Same thing with this, grad 2021. Like, I don't love that they include that. I'd love for them to fill it with something else. I mean, it makes sense if you're buying it that year and you know, you're gonna use it that year, but um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, actually, have I been crafting maybe a little bit longer? This is 2019. I think I got this one later on. I don't, I don't even know when I started crafting. I'd have to go back through my videos, but five years ago is when I started paper crafting in general. It was during one of my hard years as a teacher, my second year. Um, and I'm, I'm on my seventh year now. So I, that's when I started with like happy mail. I don't remember when I switched over to, um, album making though. Um, anyway, so here we have some stickers. This is from recollections, but they are just, um, graduation themed. So I don't even know what that says. Something and tassel. Oh, cap and tassel done success. Awesome. Wow. Grad hats off. Congrats. And yay. Um, okay, Simple Stories. This is the Congrad, Congratulations. So we've got cut aparts, um, some stars. This is the back. Got a bunch of those sheets. The hats and diplomas. And yeah, looks like I just have like four different sheets and two of each of those. Then I have this paper pad. I guess this is also Recollections. It does not say, but like I said, it looks like a Recollections. Um, and I have the 12 by 12. So I showed you guys the six by six. I have a 12 by 12 in here. It's interesting, some sheets are double-sided, most are not. But yeah, I can't use any of these. I could use those two. Unless I'm making an album for somebody for, from three years ago. Oh, wait. No, these aren't double-sided. Sorry. I thought some were double-sided because there's vellum in here and other, like, elements. So that's cool. I like the papers. Um, other than the ones that have the year on it, I think it looks good. Looks nice. But that's all that's in my graduation bin. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot of graduation and I don't even think I ever made any graduation themed anything. 
so I should probably change that this year, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, guys, so that completes my what's in my stash for school themed paper collections and graduation themed paper collections. So I hope, you guys, I hope it gives you guys ideas about what's out there and maybe you know which one you want to get. Um, and yeah, so I will try to link as much as I can down below, whatever that I could find. And that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. I've been doing all these video series and there's also a playlist down below. I started this last year over the summer, um, starting with, I think, summer themed or 4th of July themed collections. And I've been going on throughout this whole entire year and I plan to be done by the end of the year showing you guys every single thing. So check out that playlist if you guys want to see all the other paper collections in my stash and all the themes. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. Bye!